All right guys, Splits here. I'm gonna show you how to make a shirt in Roblox. So here's my example. So you can actually pick any color you want for your shirt. And if you can't tell, this shirt actually has shading, which is actually really easy to do and add to your shirt. And you can also add a logo. So this is just an example. So not like this guy where he just put an image and he looks all newbie. This is actually like looks pro and people will be impressed with your shirt that you made. And I'll also show you how to sell your shirt so you can actually start earning Robux. And since I put my shirt up for only 5 Robux, let's try to get at least 5 likes on this video. I really need it. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, once you're on the Roblox homepage, if you look at the top, you'll see this Create tab right here. So just click on that. And then you should see this. Now if you look on the left, you'll see this Creations right here. So that's where you want to go. And then go to Avatar Items classics and then you'll see this learn more link right here so you just want to click on that and if you scroll down a little bit you'll see these two images right here so this one on the left is for the shirt and on the right is for the pants you'll know because it says it on the bottom right here so you just want to right click on the shirt template and then copy image so once you copy your image you're going to want to go to this site right here it's called photo p and if you don't know what it is it's basically Photoshop, but it's on a web browser. So I'll put the link down below so you can just click on it and it'll take you exactly right here. So once you're here, you just want to press control V to paste the image and you might get this pop up. So just hit allow. And then here is the template that we just copied. So it's a little zoomed out. So you just want to press control zero and it'll zoom in. All right. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of these colors on these squares and rectangles. So in order to do that, you just want to go to this one icon and just hold click and then make sure you press the quick selection tool and then all you gotta do is just click each square and just hit delete just like how I'm doing right now so it's pretty easy you just click it and then hit delete on your keyboard and this is what it should look like so now you'll see these lines like around the squares and rectangles so to get rid of that just press ctrl D and then this is what the template should look like it should all look transparent now all right, the next step is to pick the color for your shirt. So we're gonna need to make a new layer. So just go right here on the bottom and just click this. And we should be on layer one. And then you wanna go to this gradient icon, just hold click and then make sure that you pick the paint bucket tool. And then once you do that, now you can pick your color. So I'm actually gonna make my color blue. So just like that, just press okay. And then just click anywhere. And then you should see a solid color like this pop up. All you have to do is just move the layer under the background just like this. And then you'll notice that the transparent spots are now blue. So you'll notice on the bottom, there's these two squares right here. These are actually the hands. So we have to move this color up so these two squares can be transparent. So all you have to do is just go to this move tool right here and just drag up just like this. And now the two squares are now transparent. All right, the next thing you want to do is add some shading so it doesn't look like this solid color. And it'll also make it more realistic. So you just want to go to Google and just type in Roblox shading shirt. And then just go to images. And I'm going to just use this one. So once you find the image, you just want to right click and then copy image. And then go back to photo P. And then you want to press control V to paste. And you'll notice that the shirt now looks more realistic and a lot better. So you'll notice that it added shading on these two squares. So we actually have to get rid of that. So make sure you're on layer two. And then you want to go to this rectangle tool and just click and drag around the two squares like this and then hit delete. And now control D to get rid of those lines. And now the two squares are now transparent. All right, now it's time for the final step and that's to add a logo to the front. So I'm just going to go back to Google. So my logo is going to be a subscribe button. So I'm just going to copy the first one that I see. So once you find your logo, right click and then copy image, go back to photo P and then control V to paste. If your image is too big, you want to go to this move tool right here and then check transform controls. And then you just want to move the image. This image is way too big. I have to make this a lot smaller. All right, I think that right there is good. So once you find your spot, you just want to press this check mark right here and then just uncheck transform controls. And here's my logo that I added to my shirt. All right, so now we're basically done. And obviously this isn't the greatest shirt you'll ever see. This is just an example. So once you're done, you just want to go to file and then export as and make sure you save it as a PNG. 
and then just hit save. I'm gonna just save it to my desktop and just name it Roblox shirt and then hit save. All right, so now all we have to do is just upload the shirt. So just go back to create and then go to creations, go to avatar items, classics, and then make sure you pick classic shirts and then you just wanna upload the asset right here and then just hit upload. I saved mine under desktop and then here it is the Roblox shirt. So now you can actually give it a name. I'm just gonna be super creative and just name it shirt. You can also give it a description. So it does cost 10 Robux to actually upload, but if you don't have Robux, just go to like donate me and just set a goal for like 10 Robux. You'll get it like in five minutes or less. So yeah, just hit upload and then it should be done. Just give it a sec. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually put the shirt up for sale so you can actually start earning Robux. So make sure you're in creations and then avatar items and then classics and then make sure you pick classic shirts and then you should see the shirt that you just made right here. So here's mine. So just click on it and then right here, this is where you can go to change the price. So on sale and then just set your price. I'm gonna put mine at five Robux. So now people can buy it for that much. I'm gonna hit publish and now the shirt got updated. So now it's basically now for sale. So we can now go back to just normal Roblox. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to actually put the shirt on. So just go to your avatar and then go to clothing, classic shirts, and then you'll see the shirt that I made is right here. So just click on it and then it should apply it. So there's my shirt. So now I'm gonna show you how it looks like in game. So here's what my shirt looks like in game. Looks pretty good. So let's get a full 360. So yeah, that's basically how you make a shirt. So yeah, good luck on selling your shirts. Hopefully you get some Robux out of it. So yeah, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe. This helped you out. And yeah.